to the cylinder as editable poly. The next thing what we want to do, we're going to go to the top uh, viewport and folks just try to understand what I'm doing over here. So basically I created the cylinder to create a hole inside of this base of the fan base so it's going to be a hole inside of it. Um, the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to position the cylinder perfectly uh, so it's going to be in the perfect coordinates uh, around my 3D uh, base box of my fan. So I'm going to go ahead and click select the move tool. I'm going to right click uh, to my top uh, viewport. So I'm going to work with the viewport. If you double click, right click in the, any port, it will give you some options. Just click somewhere else. Uh, and it will disappear okay and kinda going to move it when it's going to be kinda even to my box uh, base of my fan like so right so now it's even and let, let's call it like so uh, the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and click edit and I'm going to go ahead and click clone and I'm going to go ahead and say copy when you're cloning and selecting copy it's just going to copy the color, the textures, the uh, coordinates uh, the scale of your object 3D model if you're going to select instance or reference it just reference is just going to copy it and in the future when you're going to modify the uh, main um, object it's also going to modify automatically the copied object for you we don't want that so we're going to go ahead and click copy so we can work with every single clone by itself it's going to be by itself without no child when you're going to select the reference what it will, it will do this is going to be a, a parent and uh, another one which is we're going to copy going to come out create it's going to be a child and it will be totally dependent of the parent means that if we're going to change the texture or color or anything else uh, it will change uh, on a child as well automatically so we don't want that we want to do copy and we want to work with individual objects the way we want it I'm gonna click copy I'm gonna click OK and uh, the next thing um, what we're gonna do uh, we just copy it but we don't see it there is two objects here it says cylinder 02 what we wanna do we wanna click in our front viewport right mouse of your button once and then uh, get it to the top a little bit um, by Y axis as you can see two objects just to the top so we're not going to see it yet okay I don't want to show you how to hide this object. Uh, I don't want you to get lost because I'm assuming that you're a total beginner. So just push it to the top for now in the front uh, viewport. In the front, I'm sorry, in the front viewport. Okay. Um, and, and also, cylinder 02, call it um, base cylinder. Try to uh, name every single object that you're working or model. You can call object in 3D space or world, or you can call 3D model. Try to name it so it's not going to have like cylinder one, two, three, and you're going, not going to have clue in the future what it does. Name them. Get a habit. And also, go ahead, uh, make sure that you click on select object icon, click on it so you can select any um, object in 3D world, and uh, if you're going to, uh, you're not going to move it or scale it. So it's a good habit to when you're selecting the 3D objects or 3D models in 3D world you're using the select tool this guy right here this icon make sure it's uh, highlighted instead of uh, select the move or scale because accidentally you can scale a little bit your model and you're not going to see that when you're working with select object uh, mode uh, you're not going to scale your uh, model you're not going to do anything to it uh, only to select it okay this is going to be whole, so we're not going to name it at all, but I'm going to go ahead and click on my base, um, box base, and instead of box one, I'm going to call it um, box base. So it's box base fan 
for our fan. We're going to have two of them. We're going to clone it in the future. But before we're going to clone it in the future, let's go ahead and uh, make some modification to it. And then we're just going to clone it uh, and have two uh, models, uh, 3D models with modifications or 3D objects with modifications instead of clone it now and make some modification to object number one and object number two. We're going to get smart. We first we're going to modify this 3D model and then we're going to clon clone it. So we're going to save a lot of time. Okay, the next thing what I want to do um, after we rename it, make sure our uh, box base is selected and uh, make sure there is no elements or over here is uh, selected. So it's uh, basically we're working with 3D model instead of a selection like polygon, vertices, make sure it's unselected. Okay. The next thing what I want you to do, click on the create. Make sure you're in geometry mode. Make sure that standard primitives. Uh, click on it and you want to go ahead and select the compound objects. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to create a Boolean object from those two objects or those three models. And uh, we're going to create the Boolean object and basically by extracting one 3D model from another to create a shape basically a hole inside of our box base how to do so make sure you compound objects over here as we just discussed under the geometry under the create and your box base box selected click on boolean make sure it's selected and then pick open B so now we are going to do we are going to uh, pick our uh, second uh, 3d model that we would like to uh, do some uh, modification between of them and I'm going to go ahead and uh, select pick upper and B and uh, I'm going to go ahead and select on a cylinder and it's going to go ahead and extract the cylinder from the uh, box base if this didn't happen what you want to do you want to use this little slider over here and slide to the uh, to see more options and slide 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 you're gonna see that upper and a is box base and upper and b is cylinder and then you have the union if you're gonna click union you can add this model to that model so cylinder to base box and create as one uh, 3d model okay like glue it but we don't want it to do so then you can enter select it means that it's just going to be cylinder and uh, everything else is going to disappear that was uh, like a 3d model uh, covered by the 3d model uh, a which is our box base and then you can sub sub subtract subtraction a minus b or B minus A like so and you can see you can create different uh, shaped objects so keep this in mind but in this case we're going to subtraction A minus B we want to create a hole like so after this what you want to do you want to go ahead and click on modify and it's going to say boolean you want to click right button on it and you want to say editable poly so now you want to um, you want to basically create from this object editable poly so now you can modify it edges polygons and aid and vertices and reshape it even more so the next thing what we're gonna do we are going to go ahead and click create and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on geometry and then compound object if it's selected like so you're gonna click on it and you're going to select standard primitives make sure you selected standard primitives the next thing we're going to go ahead and create more cylinders you want to click on cylinder and we're going to create the hole in our fan let's go ahead and look at our reference image so we created base sorry I didn't look at our uh, reference image now I will do so uh, we created the base and uh, we created the hole and then we have the cylinder then we're going to uh, connect with a base another base that we're going to clone and now we want to create those four holes for the screws so let's go ahead and jump to it in our top view a port make sure you right click on it once 
of your mouse button and now your cylinder is selected under the standard primitives under the geometry under the create okay uh, you wanna click somewhere over here and hold your mouse button and scroll move your mouse button and then release your mouse button and move again to create some uh, height okay like so you can check your front and left view to see what you're doing using those cameras just put your eye on it and you know use different viewports to have the clue where you at what you're doing and stuff like so okay the next thing what we want to do uh, we want to go ahead and click on modify and uh, on that cylinder we want to go ahead and click right button on it and say editable poly we are not going to name this cylinder because it's basically just going to be a hole we're going to bully on it like we did this hole before so we're not going to give any names to it it's just going to disappear in a, in a, in a minute the next thing make sure you click on editable poly and nothing is selected like so so if it's selected vertices or polygons you want to click on this icon double click and it will unselect it then you're going to go ahead and click on select and move tool this icon right here and click on it and now you can move uh, our 2d object and uh, or 2d model now you're going to go ahead and click on front viewport right click with your mouse button once and just keep in mind if you're gonna double click right mouse button it's gonna give you this crazy menu it's fine just right click somewhere else from that menu and it will disappear now we want to move, move it just a little bit by Y make sure it's between our base so it's going to boolean it perfectly make it perfect hole okay like so